Welcome back, I'm Ray Ortega. Today I wanna to show you two methods for setting up really any mixer to get the best audio quality out of it, the lowest noise, and to properly set up your microphones for getting in the right amount of gain or gain staging a mixer. Now I'm using a Behringer Xenix Q802 USB. This is a cheap sub $100 mixer. And this is a great one to show you on because it'll act like most mixers in that it doesn't have a uh, pre-fader listen or PFL switch, which makes it easier to set up each channel. But most mixers, all mixers that I've come in contact with, again, these are my methods, uh, most mixers have at least a clip light on the microphone channels and as well, you have the meters from the main mix on the side. And we're gonna use those two methods to set up really hopefully any mixer that you come in contact with to get the best gain, the best sound out of the mixer. So we've got everything turned down, okay? And we start at the top. This is the most important. We get the gain, it's called gain staging, and this is your gain knob, sometimes referred to as trim. And what we're going to do with all the other knobs turned down, except for the EQ knobs are at their detent or the top, right in the middle. There's a little spot there where you can feel it click. Okay, so those are left in the middle. Everything else is turned down. The pan knob is center, but the volume knobs, the channel faders and the main fader are down and the gain is down as well. So what we'll do is we will just start to, uh, well, we'll come up on our gain almost all the way because we need a lot of gain for this microphone. It's an ATR2100, and we have 60 dB of gain on this mic. So I'm gonna go all the way, and I'm gonna back off a little bit. Now I'm gonna say the typical, what you hear on stage, check one, two, check one, two, until that high end, the check is the loud part, is making that little clip light come on. Check one, two, check, check one, two. All right, and when we bring these up, we are getting around zero on the LED meter here, on the main meters, and that's what we wanna see. So we've set up this channel properly. Then if you're gonna to wanna to move over and set up another channel, you're gonna to wanna to do the same exact process for each channel that you have a microphone on. And then you will have a nice gain staged mixer. The other way to go about this, which is probably better, is to go ahead and bring your channel level, the microphone, right up to zero, and do the same for your main output there. And then talk normal, as loud as you're going to talk in the uh, the recording. Bring your gain knob right up to where you are seeing that your loudest parts of your normal speech are hitting in the zero. Okay, so this mixer wants to be right at zero is a good place on an analog mixer. And you can see we still have all this headroom, see I can get excited, headroom into the six, if I get really excited, we have enough headroom and the audio sounds really nice and clean. So this is exactly where this mixer wants to be. Okay, so we've got our gain adjusted to where our voice is hitting into the zero when our channel fader and our main mix knob is in its detent or zero position. So that's looking really good. So that's the two methods I use. Check the links. Uh, in the description for all the gear that I use to create this video, but you should be able to go to any mixer and set it up and have it sound great. Now, again, if your gain knob is all the way up and it's creating noise, the mixer, the preamps inside the mixer might not be that good. But even on this very cheap Behringer mixer, on some very cheap Mackie mixers, uh, they have preamps that work really well. So, you know, you can compensate a little for that by coming down on the gain and maybe adjusting with the faders, but ideally you'll set it properly from the top all the way through the entire mixer to get the best levels you can for the cleanest sound. All right, I will see you next time.